Hi guys, quite a while back somebody commented on one of my radio control videos why don't I program my ESCs or have I programmed my ESCs? Well, none of the ESCs I've got are programmable. They're cheap Chinese, um, cheap and cheerful things. But having been asked the question, I had a look on eBay and found a programmable ESC. Uh, this one's got Lieber written on it, L-I-E-B-E-R, L-B-10-A. The packet it came in actually says N-W-E-W-E-R, newer or newer, L-B-10-A, programmable, blushless, B-L-U-S-H-L-E-S-S, -S, motor ESC 2-3S. I'll put a eBay link in the video description. To go with it, I bought this programming card, Hobby Wing. This is the instructions that go with it. Looks fairly straightforward. Um, so we'll just run through it. I have actually tried this already, and it may be that this motor I'm using is a bit too much for this ESC. It's a 10A ESC. That motor is out of a, I think it's a DVD drive or something like that, or maybe a hard drive. But it may be that it's drawing too much current, because when I try it, it seems to cut out if I try and give it full power. Anyway, we'll follow the instructions. So I've plugged it into the card. I'll give it some power. Nice set of pretty lights there. They're labelled brake, battery type, cutoff type, cutoff voltage, start mode, timing, music, and reserved item. So we've got eight options there. And I think the only thing I'll set at the moment is the brake. Put the brake on. So press that button. The brake light is flashing. Press that one. We step across to on. So the brake is on. Um, I think that's about it really. Battery type is set to LiPo already. Cutoff type is set to... I think that's standard or normal. I can't quite read it because the lights are flashing in my eyes. Um, oh, soft cut that's set to. Uh, that means that the ESC gradually reduces the output power rather than swi switching it off immediately, which is what cut off does. Cut off voltage is the low voltage protection threshold. So I'd have to look that up and work out whether I want it set to low, middle or high. Um, start mode, normal, soft or very soft. Um, oh, let's, let's play with that. Wrong one, I have to step down, don't I? Oh, went all the way through. Start mode, let's go to very soft. Let's see what that does. Uh, timing, I've no idea what that is. Music, we don't get the option. And reserved item, don't have that option. So press the OK button. Blue light comes on. And if it's gone out, it's sent the information through to the ESC. I'll just do that again. Yeah. So that's gone. So we'll power off again. Plug that back into the servo. That servo, the receiver. Making sure we get it the right way round. Plug the battery back in again.
couple of beeps. We've got a slow beep now. So we've got left and right. Oh, this one doesn't do reverse, so <laughs> we've only got forwards. Okay. So I'll move the camera. it go up the kitchen but we can't bring it back because we haven't got reverse right now this is the problem I was getting before and I think it may be that I'm overloading that ESC because if I try and give it full power it just stops it's alright if I start off gently but as soon as I try and give it full power, it just stops. <laughs> so, I may have overdone it with the motor. That's the only thing I can think. I can't think of any other reason why it should cut out like that. I've changed it to a 2S LiPo. Maybe that won't overpower the ESC so much. Yeah, that seemed a bit happier. So that may be what it is. That, uh, that motor's too much, drawing too many amps for that ESC, so it's cutting out. So just using a 2S, I'm not putting so much power through it. So there we go, that's my blushless programmable ESC and the um, programming card. And it works, but I, I can't see that it's any use to me. I think I was better off with the simple, cheap, straightforward ESCs. No doubt there's a time and a place for everything.